a passive husband father who won't lead but just waits for his wife to take care of it, making him good cop and she has to be bad cop. How about this, a spoiled son who doesn't do anything around the house because he thinks his mom exists to be his maid, cook, chauffeur, and bank. How about this, a woman, wife, and mom who doesn't believe that she is loved for who she is but only for what she does and how she performs and this is a good one. An entitled daughter who believes that her mom exists to serve her rather than she should serve her mom. That hasn't even come in her mind. And the room is quiet. <laughs> Proverbs says that this is a scenario that will make the earth shake and crush everybody in the family. It also describes the typical American family. And it's also the reason, maybe, why mom's so angry and quarrelsome and comes across as a nag. Because in her mind, in her experience, if she doesn't get angry, if she doesn't get quarrelsome and remind everybody 50 times that something needs to get done, it's just not going to get done. And that's exhausting. And while she doesn't say it out loud, because she's probably surrendered to that's just my reality now. And also everybody would dismiss her and say it's ridiculous. But in her mind, I wonder if she, she's thinking this, I wonder if she feels unloved. And I don't mean in the sense of like, of course we all love our mom. It's my mom. It's my wife, right? I mean in the biblical sense. Does she feel provided for and protected? Does she feel valued and safe? Because if you go back to the beginning, Genesis 3, a woman wants to know that she is loved, wanted, and safe. And if she doesn't know that, she's going to get angry to protect herself. And who would blame her? 